using some of the products from our spring craft box. Um, I believe, fingers crossed, it is still available online or will soon be available again. Um, so if you like anything you see, make sure you go and check that out before it's all gone. Um, so the main element from the set and for my card is going to be the bold flora die. So you get all these lovely florals in there and I'm going to use those as the basis of my card. So I've got the basic um, card base. So I've used the Lemoncello cardstock that comes in the craft box set. I believe you get 10 colours. So these are all the colours, including the Lemoncello, that you get in the set. And I'm going to be using, I think, all of them today because I'm going to make sort of this pastel rainbow effect with the florals. So I've chosen the Lemoncello as my base card. I've cut that to size and folded it in half. So I've got a sort of square card. And then I've got some white cardstock that I'm going to just place over the top. I've measured ever so slightly smaller and then I've rounded off the edges just because I like that effect um, a little bit better. So that's sort of the basis of my card. I'm then going to take the circle framelits that come in the set. These are actually designed to work with our shaker domes. So you get two sizes of shaker domes in the set. And this is what these are made for. Um, if I can get them out of the packaging. <laughs> and I'm actually going to use the larger one because I'm going to use the larger shaker dome in the set, which is this one. I believe it is three and a half inches. Um, but there's only two in the set, so um, you get those two, so you want to use the larger one. Okay, so you want to place that in the middle. And then I'm gonna draw a circle. So that is cutting on the outside, so I wanna draw the outside circle. So I'm gonna place it in the middle and then just with a pencil, draw that there. Okay, so we've got that main outline. Oh, I've missed a bit. I'll actually go back. Okay, so you've got that main circle outline. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, that's just to, um, as a basis for where we're going to put those florals. Okay, so because I've used the lemon cello, I'm only going to use the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other colours that come in the set. So I'm actually going to sort of try and break that circle down into nine. So just working from the inside because we're going to actually not use the inside once it's all complete. So I'm just going to roughly... So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I think I might need them a little bit smaller. Just this really helps when you're sticking the flowers down, and I'm going to show you in a second. So we've got one, two, I've numbered mine but you could then go in and call them by colour so depending on how you want your rainbow to look in this in the circle and um, you could then say okay so this one's going to be ballet slipper this one's going to be cherry blossom this one's going to be sorbet that kind of thing okay so I'm then going to start to add florals to the outside and along that line and I'm going to try and keep each colour within that line so that's going to help me when I start to move between the colours Okay, so I'm only going to show you a few. I'm not going to show you the whole rainbow, um, but that's where your bold flora dye is going to come in. Um, you do also get some adhesive sheets in the set, and I'm going to use these to stick down the majority of those dyes. So the adhesive sheet just is a double-sided sticky sheet, and it means that you don't really have to faff around with glue, um, so this helps loads. So... If you just pop, just cut that, sorry, and then I'm going to stick it onto the back of some sorbet card. And then I'm just gonna trim that down. Okay. So I've got that on some 
sorbet coloured card and then I'm going to cut out the flower dyes that I need in the sorbet colour. Um, you could use a mixture of the florals, you could cut out every floral from each colour and then start to arrange them. Um, so it's up to you which ones you cut out. So I'm going to cut out um, this one, this one and this one I think. So I've got those three and then I'm going to place them on here. And then you've got the adhesive sheet on the back and it should just pop out and then you've got those all ready there. If you need to just use your die pick or your tweezers just to pop those flowers out of the dies. There we go. Okay. So if I start with one section and then I'm going to work my way around. So I'm actually going to start with the cherry blossom colour. So I've done this in a larger flower and I've got some lemon cello um, for the centre. So that's what I've used the lemon cello for as well as the background. I've used it for the centres of the flowers. And on everything I've already got the adhesive sheet on the back and I just want to peel that off. If you've got nails. Hopefully you should be able to get it, but if you haven't, this tweezers are perfect for that. So there we go. Just stick that there. And then again, peel that off. And my cherry blossom, where is that going to go? I think I'm going to pop that there. So I'm going to have half of it kind of overlining that circle almost. And that's what you want all of the florals to kind of do. So that's pretty much covered that section there. I'm going to now move on to the sorbet. So just placing those and using all the florals and all the elements from the dye and just building that up. And just carry on going and you could really have fun like layering them up and seeing what you prefer in what colour and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to pop down a couple more and then I'll show you the next step. So we've got that there, I'm just going to pop down the next colour quickly. So this one is Primrose. This is like our darkest pink. So again, making sure I'm overlapping that line, overlapping the sections onto one another. And that's a good thing about the adhesive sheets. You can kind of place it down. If you're not happy, just gently peel it off and you can move it around. So there we go. So as you can see, I've used the lemon cello with some of the center elements from the die set, but then I'm also gonna use some of the sequins that come in the set. So you get the cherry blossom sequins, and I'm actually gonna use just a couple of them to highlight the centers of the flowers. So just with some of our express glue, um, I love this glue, but any that you have at home would be fine. I'm just gonna pop that there. Okay, and you can go around and start to fill in um, the centres. Okay, so once you've done that whole thing, you've done your whole sort of pastel rainbow, you've gone all the way around, um, you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so there we have our full circle. And then I'm actually going to cut out that middle circle. So just for this quick one, I'm going to show you how I cut it, but I've already cut it ready on that other one. So you're going to take that same die that you drew that circle with, and I'm actually going to just use some of our maker's tape and just secure that in place because I don't want it to move. I want it to be 
exactly on that line because we've spent all that time putting those florals in place I don't want that to move about okay I'm gonna quickly cut that now because it's going through quite a few layers of paper and the adhesive sheet it may take a few passes through the machine just to get that fully cut so I'm going to do three and see how that comes out. Um, ah, there we go. Yeah, so that's pretty much come out perfectly. So there you can see how cutting those flowers in half um, really just make it sort of frame in that circle. And that maker's tape will just come right off if you've used that. So I already cut the circle out from this one. So I have this as my floral rainbow. Okay, so we've got that. And now for the centre, we're going to start to add in the shaker dome. So I'm actually going to include a sentiment in the middle. Um, if you go on our website, and I believe in the inspiration section, and you pop in your email address, um, you will have access to some free downloadable sentiments that um, you can print off and use. So if you don't want to hand print or um, sorry, use calligraphy or anything like that, they're ready of waiting for you to use. Um, I've just hand drawn mine because I don't have a printer at my house um, where I'm currently working. So I've just hand drawn mine and then I just cut it again with that same framelit. Okay, so just to make sure that it's going to go in the right place, I'm going to hold that down and again draw that circle. Now I did my circle in Arctic Sky, but you could totally just draw onto the lemon cello, onto your background. So I've got one there just quickly to show you. So you could sort of work with your background already. Um, but whatever you prefer as your centre colour. So I've got that there. I'm actually going to stick that down with a little bit of express glue. And that circle is going to help me know exactly where to put it. Okay, and now for the fun part, we're going to actually start to include the shaker dome. So to make it a shaker dome, you're going to want some of your sequins to make it shake in the centre. So I'm actually going to use both of the colours that come in the set. I think I'm going to use, I think some of the hearts actually. So you get loads of different kinds of sequins in the set, but I think these lovely hearts will be fun. So I'm going to include those. Quickly before I do that, I'm going to pop a butterfly, which I cut from that set earlier. I'm just going to pop that up there, just as an extra element. There we go. And then start to pop in these sequins. So you want not masses of sequins, just a few. Okay, if you're not, if you feel like you've got too many, just take them away. And you want to sort of build a little tiny mound in the middle of that circle, so in the top of that sentiment. And I'm gonna put both the green and the pink in, I think. The green, the green tea, the purple, the sequin heart, sorry, um, are quite subtle, so I don't think they'll overpower the pink too much. I'm not gonna to put too many in because I still wanna see that sentiment once I've um, stuck it down. So now you've got your um, shaker down. And all you need to do is peel off this white sort of rim and that reveals a sticky layer. So you're just going to peel that off and make sure your sequins are still in the centre. And then stick that over the top. Really careful. So really adjust it a few times before you're happy and give it a good press 
and then make sure that's really secure so when you lift it up those sequins don't fall out okay so we've got our shaker dome element I'm now going to lastly stick on that top section so again just with some express glue but any glue or tape or anything that you've got at home and then gently place that over the top wait a couple of seconds for it to dry give it a good press once you're happy there we go I'm gonna move all my sequins out the way so you can see the finished piece so there you have that finished shaker card and those sequins in the center in that dome really finish it off and using all those colors all that pastel rainbow I think rainbows are really big right now but you don't have to go overboard with those bright old colors that pastel shade just really works it, particularly with the floral dye and those sequins in the center so there you have it guys um, make sure to check out the website for all of the products that are included in the um, spring craft box and um, if it's still available it's a fantastic deal you get some amazing things in there so make sure to grab that before it's all sold out um, and make sure you stay safe keep crafting guys and I'll see you